What's up, dudes? I'm Babs. Um, you're at this video now because you want to play Outward with some mods, and so do I. So let me show you how to do that. First step, go open up your Steam. Go to your Steam library. Find Outward. Right-click, Properties, Betas, and make sure you select Default Mono, Public Default Branch Mono. That'll allow your game to load the mods. That has to be uh, selected in Steam for the mods to work. So make sure you do that first. That's like the first step. Next step, go to Nexus Mods on your your, 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 your web browser. Well, I, I was going to say Google Chrome because that's what I use, but you're going to have to create an account for Nexus Mods. It's free um, in order to download anything. So just get yourself an account set up there if you don't already have one. Um, and I'm going to be installing. Um, well, let me show you. Actually, this is kind of weird. So to find the games, what I, this is how I do it. Maybe there's a quicker way, but you know, we're playing outward. So type an outward up here and change it from mods to games. Search outward right there. Now it pops up with all the mods. You can sort them from newest to most popular to least popular, stuff like that. But I'm going to be installing Combat HUD. That's the one I want. So we open up Combat HUD. You can actually scroll down to the how to install here and it'll give you a good um, tutorial on installing the mod. So I'll just give you like some visual representation and I'll try to keep as quick as possible. I'm not trying to waste anyone's time here. So next step, you want to get this software called Beppin EX. So I will leave a link to this in the description of the video or you can just get it if you're gonna install Combat HUD mod like I am, it's down here. All right, so Beppin EX Pack. Um, I will leave a link to this page in the description of the video for you guys, or you can just click on it from Nexus. Most of the mods that you're gonna want to install under their how to install sections will have a link for Beppin. But this is the next step, guys. So install Beppin EX. So let's download it first. Manual download right here. Um, put it into a folder that um, you'll remember. I like to create a new folder called mods, or I actually, I, on my computer, I have a mods folder and then you click on the mods folder and then I guess I can show you. All right, here it is right here. So I have a mods folder and then I just uh, create folders for each game. So these aren't all of my mods because I recently started doing this because it starts getting a little crazy on your computer if you have to install a lot of mods. So I've made an outward folder here, as you can see, and I've already downloaded all of the things that we need here. So like I said, uh, I showed you how to find Beppin EX pack. So download it, you'll get this folder. Now, the next step is you need something to extract these files. If you've ever installed mods before, you already have the software on your computer, no doubt. If you don't, um, you can grab WinRAR for free. If you just Google it, that's what I tell all my friends that ask me uh, when they're new to, when they're just getting into PCs, like, I'm like, just Google WinRAR. Uh, it's not hard to find. Or you can use 7-Zip. Both of them are free. Um, WinRAR is more like a free trial and it'll like, it's kind of a meme. It'll let you know hey, this isn't free. And it's been letting me know that like once a week for the last 10 years. You're gonna go to Beppin. Beppin's gonna be a little different than the next couple, but for Beppin, let's create its own folder here. Another subfolder. So this will be Beppin. Drag Beppin into there. Now Beppin's in here by itself. Extract here. Now you'll have this. You can actually go ahead and delete this now. You don't need it. All right, guys, this bit's pretty important um there's a, this folder here beppin ex pack underscore outward make sure you click on that and you'll have these three files in here you can also do this readme here it gives you another tutorial on how to install it or you can just watch me and then you're going to go find your um outward uh main directory on your computer um to find that easier it may be if you don't know but you can go to steam again properties under outward local files and then go to right here this is where it is um installed on your computer you can click browse and it'll open up your windows folder here so this is your this is where you need to uh paste the file all right so take these three files beppin ex the folder doorstop underscore config dot any and win http dot dll drag them over to your outward folder let them paste now your folder should look like this. So take a moment to compare your folder to mine. We now have Beppin installed. At this point, you don't have to do this, but I like to go ahead and run the game just to make sure it's still running. I'll, I'll launch my game whenever I'm modding after I install one mod. 
that way, if something messes up, you kind of know what the source of the problem is and where to start diagnosing. So I'm going to go ahead and launch the game and we'll see how it goes. All right, so I booted it up. Everything's fine. No crashes. So I closed it. And next up, we need to install side loader. So that's right here. And that is um, actually within Nexus uh, on their site. So uh, you can just find side loader under outward game. Go to file, manual download. Slow download. Once that's downloaded, again, I downloaded that in my same folder here. I'm going to create another new folder called side loader. And we'll put that right below Beppin. Drag side loader, drop it into side loader folder, open side loader folder, extract here. There we go. We got a Beppin EX folder. So if you look over here to the outward folder, there's already a Beppin EX folder in there. So what will happen when you drag this over there is it will place the files within this folder into this one. And you see here, I clicked on it. Now there's two plugins folders. Well, let's go a little deeper. There's nothing in that one. So this is going to be your plugin right here. So all you got to do, though, I just did that for science. Go back up. This is our main outward folder again. Let's just drag this over. And now we should have under that plugins. There it is. Yeah. So that's side loader. Side loader is now installed. So I'm going to launch the game again and make sure everything's still still kosher. All right, guys. So I launched my game. Everything's running fine. So we're on the last step here, installing our first mod. So like I said, I'm going to be installing Combat HUD myself. Um, so we'll just go over here to file, download the latest file. All right. Once that's downloaded, let's make another folder. So the reason I like to do this is I can have all of my mods, you know, organized in a separate folder outside of my games directory. Things are way cleaner, way easier to work with here, especially if you plan on downloading a lot of mods. So I'm going to name this one. What's it called? Combat HUD. Combat HUD. I've already downloaded it here, so we'll drag that into Combat HUD. Open that folder up. Extract here. There we go. We got another BEP in EX. Huh. Well, we know what that means. Click and drag. Boom. Done dealio. So let's see what that added. Plugins. Sinai. That's what the uh, side loader just added. So now we got two of them. Here's combat HUD. Cool. Let's check it out. Well, guys, would you looky there? It worked. If you look there at the bottom left of my screen, I now have times on all of my buffs. I have numerical values for my health, stamina, and my mana. And that is pretty much what this mod does. It's really nice. Um, you can see all of those things up here already, like this right here. You can see how much time's left. But uh, what this does is it takes it from seconds and gives you minutes and seconds, as well as allows you to see it without going into your menu. So if you're in the middle of a fight, you can see the see that. So I'm excited to, to play the game with this mod. And uh, I plan on adding some other mods. I saw there was a mod where you could just make your character sit down, which I don't know. It's kind of an immersive game, and I thought that looked pretty cool. So I'll probably be trying out that one. And then I saw that there's one where you can um, increase your quick item uh, bar down there in the bottom right. Um, a lot of things in this game you gotta use that the sh shove into that little bar so i might try that one out um i haven't decided yet but regardless that's how you install the mods guys most of them are going to be that way some mods are incompatible so you can't don't think you can just start downloading 100 mods and throw them together and they're all going to play nice um you can do that sometimes if you know what you're doing but if you know what you're doing you already know that so if you're new to this read through the descriptions of each mod that you're installing usually the developers will say whether or not it plays nice with other mods and which mods not to use with it and stuff like that um a lot of mods do work together though so don't don't be too afraid to experiment and try it out and um yeah that's pretty much it for this try to keep it short try to keep it sweet hopefully i helped you out if i did uh give me a moment to advertise my channel me and my brother are doing an outward let's play um i'm not sure you know when you're watching this but i know that right now at the time of recording this i have already uploaded our first episode spent a lot of time on it it's heavily edited i think it's great um i, I feel like it really showcases what the game has to offer and what it's all about and uh, we're having a blast so if you want to check that out um we're actually still recording it you can see here we're in the Inmacar forest um so we're about, I don't know, maybe halfway through the game. My brother, Matt, has been streaming it on Twitch. So if you want to come stop in and say hey while, we, uh, while we're while we playing Outward, um, 
that'd be awesome. So I'll leave a link to his uh, Twitch in the description of this video. Other than that, that's all I got to say, guys. Um, hope I helped you out. Thanks for watching. Hopefully I earned your like and maybe a subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.